Frances Scott Key Fitzgerald was born on September 24, 1896, in St. Paul, Minnesota. His first writing to appear in print was a detective story in a school newspaper at the age of 13. During his school years, Fitzgerald exercised his writing skills for the Princeton Triangle Club, writing scripts and lyrics for their musicals. He also wrote for several magazines, including the Princeton Tiger and the Nassau Literary Magazine. Fitzgerald joined the Army in 1917 and was commissioned as second lieutenant in the infantry. His first novel was The Romantic Egotist, which he wrote in the Army because he did not think he would survive the war. This novel was rejected, but the publishers told him to edit it and try again. In June 1918, he was assigned to Camp Sheridan near Montgomery, Alabama, where he met Zelda. After his novel was rejected again after revision, Zelda broke their engagement because she wanted to be able to rely on him for money, which he did not have much of at the time. In July of 1919, he quit his job, moved back to St. Paul, and wrote This Side of Paradise, which was accepted by the publisher in September. Through the fall and winter of 1919, he was a writer for magazines such as The Saturday Evening, where he was considered a post writer. He also wrote for The Smart Set, which published his more famous short stories, Mayday, and The Diamond as Big as the Ritz. He became famous almost immediately after This Side of Paradise was published on March 26, 1920. He married Zelda a week later in New York. They lived extravagantly, and their lifestyle overshadowed his attempt to be a serious writer. After they lived in New York for a while, they moved to Great Neck, Long Island in the fall of 1922 to be closer to Broadway. Fitzgerald wrote many short stories in this time to get out of debt. He had less time to write, and he became an alcoholic, but he wrote sober. When he and Zelda drank together, they often fought, which was the root of many of their problems. His drinking made people less likely to consider him a writer, but his writing did not suffer from the drinking at this time. His writing reflected the time and place he was living in, and he wrote about what he knew, which was marriage, love troubles, and money issues. In the spring of 1924, Scott and Zelda moved to France to try to find a peaceful and more relaxing life. He wrote The Great Gatsby, which was published in April of 1925. The novel received critical praise, but it was not sold in any great quantities. During the time that he was writing this novel, Zelda had an affair that damaged their marriage. When they were living in Paris, he met Hemingway, which would become a long-time friendship. They remained in France until the end of 1926, and they did not, he did not get much writing done there, as Zelda became increasingly unpredictable, and he had to take care of her. They returned to America to escape the distractions of France. He had a short, unsuccessful screenwriting attempt, as they lived near Wilmington, Delaware. In 1928, Zelda decided that ballet was going to be her new hobby. They returned to France in the spring of 1929, where Zelda's ballet practice damaged her health and continued to hurt their unstable marriage. Her first mental breakdown was in April 1930. As Zelda was hospitalized, Scott wrote short stories to pay for her medical bills. He was not a very famous author during his life for the most part. He and Zelda spent money faster than he could make it. Scott and Zelda returned to America in 1931 and rented a house in Montgomery. Zelda had another collapse in February of 1932 and spent the rest of her life either in hospitals or as an outpatient. The year 1936 to 1937 is known as the crack up for Scott. He drank a lot, he was sick, he was in debt, and he was not working much. Some success was in 1937 when he worked on movies, but he did not make enough to save money, only to keep himself out of debt. Scott Fitzgerald died on December 21, 1940, of a heart attack. Zelda died in 1948 in a hospital fire. Scott died thinking that he was a failure in the writing community. But less than 30 years after his death, The Great Gatsby began to gain fame, and soon he was known as one of the greatest American authors.